Hello and welcome back to Tutoring with Gavin. In this series of videos I'll be showing how to get great grades in your exam using quality quotes or speeches from the play Macbeth by William Shakespeare. I will show you how to reveal vital information about character, themes, imagery and dramatic techniques. This video will be looking at Macbeth's monologue to Lady Macbeth in Act 3, Scene 2, lines 45 to 56, just before Banquo's assassination. Be innocent of the knowledge. Dearest Chuck, till thou applaud the deed. Come, sealing night, scarf up the tender eye of pitiful day, and with thy bloody and invisible hand cancel and tear to pieces that great band which keeps me pale. Light thickens. And the crow makes wing to the rookie wood. Good things of day begin to droop and drowse. While night's black agents to their praise do rouse. <laughs> Thou marvels at my words. But how are they still? Things bad begun make strong themselves by ill. So. Pretty go with me. Shakespeare cleverly constructs this speech, which is halfway through the play, to show how Macbeth's character has become exactly like his wife in Act 1, Scene 5, when she wanted to be evil but wanted Macbeth to pretend to be innocent. Be innocent of the knowledge, dearest Chuck. There has been a major shift in their relationship. They are no longer an ambitious and ruthless couple. Macbeth is acting alone. He does not seem to trust his wife anymore. So deep is his paranoia. This is the beginning of the end of their marriage. Shakespeare continues to show Macbeth's dramatic character arc as his call on the devil parallels that of his wife in Act 1, Scene 5. Instead of come you spirits, he says, come sealing night. Sealing was the stitching up of a hawk's eyelids so they could train it to wear a hood. This imagery suggests he wants to hide the true horrors from his wife of what he is about to do. Kill his best friend and his son flounce. Scarf up the tender eye of pitiful day is another way of saying this. To hide the evil deeds from the tender eye of his wife. This is a much more patriarchal attitude towards her. <coughs> Seeing her as the weaker sex. Gone is the equal partnership they had at the start. It is ambiguous whether he is talking to Lady Macbeth or himself when Macbeth talks of thy bloody and invisible hand. The hands are both bloody because of the crime of killing Duncan. To be invisible suggests being sneaky and sly, which is exactly how he is behaving towards his best friend Banquo. Furthermore, he wants to tear to pieces that great bond which keeps me pale. The great bond could be his friendship to Banquo, but it could also be the shared experience of meeting the witches and hearing their prophecies about kingship. The speech ends with rhyming couplets again showing his growing madness. Alliteration is used by Shakespeare in the lines Good things of day begin to droop and drowse, whilst night's black agents to their praise to rouse. This suggests that the devil's agents are becoming stronger. Evil is growing stronger, while good is growing weaker. It is very noticeable here how little Lady Macbeth says, as if completely sidelined. How is she supposed to respond to this? She wanted him to be cruel and evil in order to do the deed, but now she has created a monster that is out of control. She can only sit back and watch as events unfold. Well, I hope this has helped you to understand this important moment in the play. If you want notifications of other quality quotes that will help you get a great grade, then please subscribe and give the video a thumbs up. Until next time.